In this tutorial, we will take a look at how you can adjust the kerning and the tracking manually and automatically in Adobe Illustrator. So I have my project ready, I have a text, and this text we're going to use to check how you can adjust kerning and tracking manually and automatically. So when you have your text selected, if you click in between two individual letters, you can adjust the kerning. And uh, you can do so by holding the Alt or Option key and then using your arrow keys. So if you go to the right, you make it bigger. And if you go to the left, you make it smaller. So by clicking in between two letters and then using the Alt or Option key and your arrow keys on your keyboard, you can adjust the kerning between two individual letters. Now, if you want to change your tracking and the tracking focuses on the letter spacing in an entire word, so not between two individual letters, but the entire word. If you select your entire word, and again, you press your Alt or Option key and then use your arrow keys, you can adjust the tracking for that word. Now, the other option you have um, is selecting your text again, and in the Properties window, which if it isn't visible, you can go to Window and then select Properties. In this Properties window, you have the character option here, and if you click this, these three dots, you have more options also, but you have your kerning visible here, and then in the kerning, you can say Optical. And now Illustrator will adjust the kerning for you to which the point, the point which it thinks is best. So the optical is an automatic adjustment of the kerning between all these letters. Um, you do not have the same option with the tracking. The tracking you have to do manually. You can also go here and then choose something predefined if you would like to do that. But yeah, so this is the the way to change your kerning, spacing between two individual letters, or the tracking, the letter spacing in an entire word in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative, and I hope to see you in the next one.